Welcome to episode 14 of No BS TS, where we take a look at mapped types. Now, in the last video, I know we said we we're going to talk about classes, but honestly, I just wanted to get back into the mode of looking at some really cool stuff in TypeScript to get you excited about what's coming up. We've only really scratched the surface, and I think this is one of the coolest features. It's called map types. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I'm going to create a new file in here. I'm going to call it mapped.ts. So I'm going to start off by creating a flexible dog info. This is going to store information about a dog, but it's going to do it flexibly. So for example, I would, could say type my flexible dog info equals, and then we're going to specify some required fields. So for example, a name, it's a type of string. And then I want any additional fields just to be open, really, you can put anything you want in there as long as it's a string. So how would I do that? Well, I can merge together, for example, uh, a record, in this case, where the key is a string, and then the value is a string. And that'll give me a dog info object, a flexible dog info object that has one required field, and then one, and then essentially a flexible set of fields. So if we go in here to create a dog, and it's of that flexible dog info, then I know I need a name, but other than that, I can just keep going. So I could say uh, breed is a you know, mutt like that, right? Okay, cool. So why am I talking about this? Well, I want to show you how to do this record thing without actually using record. So let's take that back. Now breed is invalid again. And now I want to be able to say you know, for any key of a type of string, then we want a string in there. And that, that allows for breed now. So that's cool. We can also like make it or number if we wanted, something like that. And now, you know, age is 22. That's fine because numbers are not allowed. And it's this syntax, which is so interesting and so pivotal to mapped types. So let me go create another interface. We'll call this one dog info. And it'll have a name. And it'll have an age, which is a number. All right, now let's go over to the map types documentation. And here's an interesting piece of code here. So let's grab that and pop this in here. And then we will create a new type called dog info options. And we'll equate it to options flags of my dog info. So if we do command K, command I here, we can see that now it's taken the original dog info and it's taken the keys of that and then it's remapped those to Booleans, which should be cool if you want to do something like have an optional saving system or something like that. So how's it doing this? Well, it's taking in this type and then saying that it's going to set property to every key from that original type. And then it's going to use that in that same system up here to specify that we want all of those as keys and they should all be of type boolean. So if I want to change this to, uh, let's see, null or something like that. Now everything in there is going to be of type null. Pretty cool, right? Okay. So, okay. So let's create a practical example out of this. I'm going to create a new function. It's going to call, be called listen to object. and you give it an object and then a set of listeners. And the listeners are one per key. So in the case of like, for example, a dog here, I could add a listener for age, I could add a listener for name, and they would get called if those values change. So return here is a void. I'm just gonna say that, you know, needs to be implemented. <laughs> and in this case, the only thing we know so far is that this is going to be an object type. This is going to be a T, you know, some, some sort of type in there, right? Okay, so let's try this out. We're going to create a dog called LG, and it's going to be of a type of dog info up there. It just has a name and an age. So the name is LG, and the age is 22 or 13, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to say listen object, and we'll give it LG. And now what we really want is we want on name change and then we want a name back we want the updated name so the v is going to be a string and it's just going to return nothing at this point and then we want on age change and since age is a number we want a number in there 
Okay, so how are we gonna type listeners, right? So what we need is that same mapped type system. So I'm gonna go create a new type and we're gonna say it's called listeners. And it's gonna take a type. And then we'll go over here and we'll copy out that property and key of type like that. That's a, a pretty good start. Let's change out that to type. And so we know this is gonna be a function for sure. And it's gonna return a void. So let's see how far we've gotten. Let's do listeners T like that. Okay, so looking pretty good so far. Let's see if it's got some, what the problems are. So on name change is not assignable to a type dog, listener dog info. Let's, let's see what listeners dog info is. And that'll give us a little bit more information here. Okay, cool. Okay, so here we've, we've actually gone and created some functions. That's a good start. So what we need to do now is make sure that that parameter is the right type. So let's do new value. And we'll just give it type for that property. All right? Okay, so let's take a look. All right, so it looks like we're doing pretty good. We got now the type is coming through. So a new value in this case is a string, new value in this case is a number for age, that's great. But the problem still is that we've got name and age as just name and age, and we want on name change and on age change. Can we actually get there? Absolutely we can, and this is the super cool thing. So we can do that using template literals in TypeScript. It's super cool. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say that as, and then we're just gonna start off as if we're making a template. So the first thing we need to do is say on, and then we're gonna say that we want to put in here the property, and then change, like that. Cool, so let's go over here, take a look at dog info listeners and see, command K, command I, <gasps> this is really neat. Okay, so on name change, we're getting close. Now all we need to do is capitalize the, and the N in name and the A in age. How do we do that? Well, we use another utility type called capitalize like that, wrap it around property like so, but we get an issue and that's because it's telling us this sort of key thing. There's a key of type and that's uh, needs to be a string or a number or a symbol. So the easiest way to get around that is just to essentially say, well, it's either a string or that. And there we go. So let's try out this again. Type dog control listeners like that. <gasps> Super cool, awesome. So this actually worked. And you give it any value for object and this listen to object will essentially give you uh, this the, the appropriate listeners. So now let's say that we want them to be optional. How would we do that? Well, that's actually really easy. All we need to do is put a question mark in here. And now you don't have to specify those listeners. Those can be optional if you want. Let's say that we want some additional listeners. Well, we can just go and take this and copy it and then do and again to merge these definitions together, paste that like that. And let's say that we want a, uh, a delete one. So let's see, for on delete, and then we don't need a new value property in there. And now we'll go over here and command K, command I again. And we can see that now we've also got on name delete and on age delete as well. So that's really cool. If I were to go over here on, yeah, check it out, it even hints. How cool is that? So on age delete, and then I, it's supposed to be a void. So there we go. Very, very, very cool. So this is really cool stuff. If you wanna have some fun, check out this mapped types documentation in the very awesome TypeScript handbook and really dig in and enjoy. All right, in the meantime, of course, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit that subscribe button and click on the bell and you'll be notified the next time a new No BSTS video comes out.